So you must always explain when you're dealing or having a, you've got a scenario on your hands, you must always explain what and why you're doing. I always talk and have conversations with the people that I'm dealing with, people that I have to tackle. I'm always talking to them all the time. And it might be that there's no response going on. And I feel that there's nothing going on. I don't feel I'm getting nothing back. Even so, I will still talk to them. I'll tell them what I'm doing. I'll tell them exactly what I'm doing. I held a guy, this big guy, he was up, um, I don't know whether I mentioned this before, but I held him and uh, he started kicking off. I knew he was going to go off because upstairs he was making a few comments about they're going to kick me out, they're going to. But it was the end of the night and we kept downstairs and he started fighting me on the head door. He says, Well, look after you. All of a sudden, he, um, he started crying first. And the head to all went up to him and said, are you okay? Are you, are you right? You know, we'll, we'll look after you, you know, we'll, we'll get you looked after. Are you not, you know, are you well? And to me, the, the symptoms were he's taking some drugs and then, because he got really moody. One minute he's really happy and aggressive and then his mood changed. As I was holding him, I got closer and closer to him. And he says, what are you doing? That's what he said to me. All I was trying to do was salvage myself, <laughs> just in case he'd gone off. And he says, what are you doing? I said, um, he says, why are you restraining me? You know, same words again. Mm. Paranoia. He's getting that paranoia. Why are you? I'm not restraining you. Talk to him. I said, I'm not restraining you. What I'm doing is just making sure you're safe. <laughs> and he goes, well, let me go then. I said, I'm not restraining you. I wouldn't let you go in a second. And I says, have mm. you, have you, are you okay within yourself? Mm. Have you can't.